which I'm joined now by English language expert Neville Gwynn and LBC pre uh, presenter Petri Hoskin. It's lovely to have you both on the programme tonight. So, Neville, have you ever twerked? I have not twerked, Emma. <laughs> How about taking a selfie or had a food baby? Emma, the answer to all ten questions is going to be <laughs> no. Well, you might Petri? have done it, <laughs> but you didn't know what to call it, and uh, that's the thing. Well, actually, I don't think I've even done it. I can't call myself a street food person, I don't think. Not. i tell you what, Neville, shall, I, shall we show you what twerking is? We've got, we've got some pictures here of Miley Cyrus I'm or a little bit desperate of Desperate to know. Come on, I think you might like it. There you go. It's, um, <laughs> well, yeah, I'm not sure how to describe it. <laughs> Do you think it deserves a place in the... Um, esteemed Oxford English Dictionary, even if it is only online? I think I've got to measure my words carefully because I don't want to upset everybody, but I regard the idea of it and being included as deplorable, degenerate and deeply shocking. Uh, mm. I think we, we might need a dictionary to look at those words. Look, <laughs> the, thing is, Neville, <laughs> the thing is, Neville, the, the language moves on and thank mm. goodness that it does. It's very exciting that there are new words. It's brilliant. And with, I have a 16-year-old. I need this dictionary to tell me what on earth he's talking about. Coming downstairs and going, I'm double dem deniming. Is that OK? I mean, it's obvious what that means. But it is in the English language. People do use it. So why not explain it? I suppose a lot of it is slang, isn't it? Well, now, are we being a bit snobbish by just saying, oh, we don't really like no, slang? The point is what a dictionary is for. I don't mind these words. I don't mind people using these words, but they actually have to. They actually have to. Yes, uh, they actually have to pass a bit more of a test than they're given before they actually appear in the dictionary. In my submission, because words basically come and go, and they've got to actually earn their place. And after all, dictionaries are really for literature not really for uh, sort of talking in, in the family. OK, well, we have been out and about today to find out whether everyone else knows what all these words mean. Let's have a listen to what we found out. If I said to you, twerk, <laughs> do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. yeah. What does it mean? Like Miley dancing? Yeah. yeah. Can you demonstrate a twerk? No. no. <laughs> what about food baby? Food baby. Food baby. Food baby? Yeah. Um, what would you say? I would have thought just a greedy baby or something. Really? Yeah, we know what a selfie yeah. is. What is that? Taking the old um, yeah. picture of yourself. Like food baby. She happened to come at me. No. <laughs> oh, yeah. I suppose Petri is a generational well, thing, I isn't think it? That displays it absolutely perfectly. That of course it is a generational thing, and language does belong to all of us. And it's, I think it's really exciting. I love it. I was saying to Neville, I even, I even like swear words. I think that they're, they're part of the English language. And he told me off for being very unladylike. I didn't actually swear at him, I, to be fair, <laughs> but My that it was unladylike. My new friend Petri is missing the point, which basically is that Dick is after what appears in print, not your common or garden language you hear in the street. And Dr Johnson, when he included a word in his dictionary, he was able to refer to where he'd read it. But, but don't we need young people to want to look at dictions? Even if they're looking at their, their own version of words, they're going to learn more about the sort you're, of more you're, traditional you're, you're, you're missing words. the point again. I'm, I make a point. I, lo I love young people looking at dictionaries. Much more, you can even have a dictionary for them. There's a perfect good dictionary of slang. But I'm talking about what is the Oxford uh, Dictionary, and that is actually a a volume or a series of volumes has always been for a particular purpose. But no, but so that this, is, this is now betraying the purpose. No, if you want a different kind of dictionary, have a different title. But maybe never you feel more connected to the younger generation now because you know what a selfie is. You know how to twerk. In fact, so that. now we're getting onto that subject. So now we're being patronising. We're being trendy. We're being dumbed down. We're actually we're, we're degenerating to the lowest common denominator. I'm actually saying these things should be raising standards, not coming down to. But, but surely, when, when William Shakespeare's works first came out there were words in there that mm. nobody had ever heard of. I mean, the origination of some of our finest swear words came from the bar. And, and people then would have said, this is not traditional language, this is not. But now it is traditional language that has become our language. Final in, word, Neville? Sh uh, Shakespeare introduced 19,000 words into the English language, yeah, some amazing. of which took off and some of which did not. But that's not the point. They stood the okay. test of time. We have they to stood the test of time. And perhaps you'll go home tonight and understand what your son's talking about. <laughs> I'm going to twerk <laughs> through the door. Oh, I can't <laughs> wait to see that. And Neville hopefully will join you. Thank you so much for joining me tonight.